guys, it's Claire from Clarified Creations and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my iced coffee. So the first thing you'll need is a Nespresso machine. Now these machines can definitely be an investment, but let me tell you something. We used to have a Keurig and after my mom got the Nespresso machine, I don't know how you could ever go back. It is so much better. So I'm going to be making my iced coffee. So the first thing you'll need is just the ingredients. You're going to need some sort of sweetener. I like to use the stevia because you know zero calories and everything and then I have another syrup. Now you guys don't have to use this. This is definitely by personal choice but I like to use the salted caramel one and it's just the skinny syrups and these last forever. And then the last thing you're obviously going to need is some water and some coffee. So let's go and make the coffee now. As you guys can see I have a Nespresso pod. This is the vanilla custard pie so I'm just going to open up the coffee machine. We're going to place it in and close it. Touch the button for a few seconds and let the magic begin. We're going to push the button down for a few seconds until the light goes off to make sure it is off. Grab our freshly brewed hot coffee. I forgot to mention that this pod makes 7.77 .77 fluid ounces. You guys can definitely use whatever you have on hand. This coffee is also really good with espresso shots, double espresso, literally anything that you guys have will work, but this was the last one we had of this and it already smells so good. We're gonna set it down and let it cool for a little bit. As you guys know, with hot coffee, if you put ice in it right away, it'll melt, and I've definitely been there. Getting to this point has not been an easy road. I have made watered down coffee. I've made coffee flavored milk, but you definitely don't intend to do that, and they are not the best thing to drink. So after this cools, we're probably gonna stick this in the fridge for a few minutes and just kind of let it cool down a little bit because it is still really hot to touch. The next part of this coffee adventure is some milk. You can use any type of milk, whatever milk that you like best. We have half and half in our fridge, so that's what I'm going to be using. I've never tried oat milk or soy milk, but comment down below your favorite coffee recipe and let's just kind of learn together. I'm going to be using about three to four tablespoons of half and half, so I'm going to pour that in our milk frother. You guys might be wondering, wait a second, we're going to be frothing milk with iced coffee? Well, let me tell you a secret. So my mom has had this Nespresso machine for about six months and a couple days ago I was like hey can this frother do cold milk and the answer is yes. Maybe it's just me, maybe I was the only one living under a rock for so long but there's got to be other people that don't know about this. You can froth your milk cold. All you have to do is press the button for two seconds and you can froth it and it'll be nice and cold and creamy. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I've got a tablespoon measurement thing right over here and we're gonna pour in about three to four. You can definitely just eyeball it but I like to kind of be more precise so I know how much is going in my coffee. So there's one. Now that that's done, we're gonna wait just a few more minutes until the coffee is cold. But while we're doing that, we're gonna froth the milk for just a little bit. This recipe is so easy and so simple, and you will save so much money by doing this. I used to go to Starbucks somewhat frequently in my college days back when we were actually in person. And guys, Starbucks can get really expensive. Around $5, $5.50 for, you know, a regular grande coffee. And that is a lot of money that continually adds up. And I've done the math. It's about $1.50 a cup, which is so much cheaper than the regular Starbucks or even Dunkin'. If you guys are wanting to save money but are not willing to give up that daily Starbucks flavor, look no further and get yourself a Nespresso and try this out. You're gonna just press this button for two seconds if you guys have an espresso frother. One, two, and ba bam The blue light comes on, which means it is frothing iced coffee cold. The frothing process takes about a minute or two, so not very long at all. So I'm gonna get my coffee out of the fridge. It should be sort of semi-cool by now. 
And as you can see, this is what the coffee is currently looking like. We're going to pour some of this caramel syrup. This also has zero calories and zero sugar. So I kind of just eyeball this using the little cap, but you can definitely add around a teaspoon or so. I don't really know how much I add, but I'm guessing it's around a teaspoon. So we're gonna pour this in here and mix it in. That looks about good to me. Of course, we're gonna have to stir our coffee and get all that caramel flavor in here. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of stevia. My mom just has a tablespoon in here, but I like to add about a half a tablespoon because it's already pretty sweet and the syrup kind of makes it sweet too. I'm just gonna pour that in there and mix again until it is thoroughly combined. The milk frothing has just been completed and let me show you guys an up close shot of this milk. Look at how foamy and rich that looks. Now you might be thinking, okay, surely it's time for the ice. This recipe is iced coffee. Well, actually we're gonna do that last so it doesn't melt too fast. We're gonna pour in some of this milk. guys can see that is a nice caramelish color. I'm gonna stir this once again. And now finally comes the ice and then we'll add in the last of this softness and then we'll be able to taste it. I've got about a cup of ice in this bowl and we're just gonna put this in one at a time. Don't worry, I did wash my hands. The last step is to finally pour the remaining foam on it, which is what we're gonna do now. And there you guys have it. Here's your iced caramel coffee at home, way cheaper and probably way better. Let's go ahead and taste it. Mm. It definitely lives up to those expectations, everything you'd ever want in a cup of iced coffee. So cheers, you guys. You are loved.